Thank you for clicking on the video. I'm going to share a series of very short videos of political leaders using the term new order. I share this to illustrate just how much our political leaders lie to all of us, no matter what nation they hail from. You know, I can recall how back in the early 1980s that when some of these leaders were asked if they were planning a one world government or a new world order, all of them would adamantly deny the claim and some of them would actually deny it with anger. But once they got enough leaders on the same page with them, they all started to declare their new world order boldly on camera, knowing no one with any power could stop their forward motion now. And yes, all of this was prophesied in the book of Daniel. But in order to keep this video short, I won't go into all that at this point. But for those that are interested in the prophetic and historic compilation that locks this all down, I have a study on the main website showing all the prophetic facts and historic evidence regarding all this. Just check out my page entitled, The Dream of a King, when you get time. And yes, I link out quite a few videos on that page as well that I made on this long prophesied topic over the years for those that don't much like to read. And so, let's check out this short video of political leaders making their long-expected statements regarding a one-world government. And then at the end, I'm going to share something with you that's going to shock quite a few people who never knew this was all planned way back in the early 1930s. Check this out. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. There's a need for a new world order. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. It's about the future of Europe and a new world order. After 1989, President Bush kept said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order. And the hope that each of us has to build a new world order. Let us reorder this world around us. Within the next four years, we will see the emergence of a new international the order. The beginning of a new international order. India and China are clearly becoming part of our new order. A new world is emerging. It is a new world order. In this period, when really a new world order can be created, it's a great opportunity. It isn't just a crisis. That this crisis, in the way that has developed, will recover some kind of a world government. President Obama and British Prime Minister Gordon today calling for a new world order to tackle our global economic crisis. And the president outlined his vision of a new world order in which the U.S. would participate fully. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. So I see a world order in the future with a multipolar uh, world order. I think the new world order is emerging. And one of the ways it will drive the change is through global governance and global agreements. It is going to have to be some semblance of global governance. Never before has a new world order had to be assembled from so many different perceptions or on so global a scale. To form for the first time in history a truly global society. Yes, we kept talking about a new world order. Uh, and, and, and then President Bush, at the end of, the, of that war, promised he would give four graduation addresses, four commencement addresses, describing that new world order and what America's role was going to be in it. That, in fact, we're all going to have to give up a little bit of our sovereignty in order to make the world work. And I strongly believe India will be a central actor in the new world order. And this present window of opportunity, during which a truly peaceful and interdependent world order might be built. Are you optimistic a global system can happen it, from what it, we've heard so far? It, it, it could happen and in fact it's in the works. Now check this out. Just under three years and eight months after the Vatican regained its church and state power, as prophesied they would, a political leader in the Roman Catholic Church coined the following phrase. Thank you for watching. God bless.